Hello friends, welcome back. In last video, we have seen different types of problems on projection of lines. We are trying to cover more number of problems. So in this problem, the front view of the line and its angle is given. We will see what is the problem here. The front view of 65 mm long line AB measures 55 mm and it is inclined at 45 degree to XY line. So very first of all, we will try to get the data in terms of our notations. So the front view of the line 65 mm long, it means we have been given the true length of the line that is 65 mm first. So we will mark A dash B1 dash and point AB2 as 65 mm. Similarly, front view of the line is given 55 mm. It means A dash B dash is 55 mm. And this 55 mm is inclined at an angle of 45 degree to XY line. So this is angle alpha that is made by A dash B dash with XY line. Apart from that, the position of A dash and point A is given that is A dash 15 mm above and point A 20 mm below XY line. We will start with the XY line first and then we will try to project point A dash which is 15 mm above and point A which is 20 mm below on the same projector line. Once we project point A dash and point A, now we can go for the data given that is A dash B dash 55 mm at an angle of 45 degree. So from point A dash measure angle 45 degree and draw a line A dash B dash. So this line is front view line and once you get point B dash you can draw its projector line vertically downwards because point B is coming on the same projector line itself. You are also getting the locus of point B dash where you can mark the true length in front view. Now as we have been given the true length that is A dash B1 dash is equal to 65 mm so you can keep 65 mm distance in compass and from point A dash you can cut an arc over here of length 65 mm so you get the true length in front view that is A dash B1 dash that is the true length and this true length makes an angle theta with xy line guys whatever the data was given in the question we have used all this data and with the help of which we have drawn these two lines now it's time to draw the projection of the line in top view as well. We already got the projector of point B. But exactly where B will come that we don't have any idea yet. So we have the true length here in front view and its projection in top view would be line parallel to XY line from point A. That line would be the plan length. So we will project this point B1 dash vertically downwards and we will start drawing line from point A which will be parallel to XY line. Here we get AB1 that is the plan length and as plan length is always equal to top view length in measurement we can take A as center and AB as radius draw an arc. Now this arc wherever it will meet this projector line of point B that point will become point B. Now you can join this A and B by straight lines. This is the top view line here. Now this top view line makes an angle of beta with xy line here. Now you can draw the locus of point B which is passing through point B itself where you can mark the true length. But how to mark true length? You have been given distance 65 mm AB2. So this distance AB265 you will keep this distance in compass and from point A as the center cut an arc on this locus of B. You get line a b2 this is the true length in top view and this makes angle phi with xy line so once you complete this diagram measure the angles theta and phi which was asked in the question so guys this is one of the problems on projection of lines which involves the front view of the line and its true length with the help of which we are supposed to draw other projection of the line and get the inclinations with respect to HP and VP. I hope this video helped you understanding the concept of projection planes. Thanks.